What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. So listen, y'all. I'm back trying to save y'all some money again. I'm trying to save some of y'all some money. And I know some of y'all like, man, I don't believe in no psychic L. I ain't out here messing with no psychics. I ain't giving no money. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised at how much how many people give their hard-earned money, hard-earned money, go in the hole, go in the debt behind paying some of these psychics, man, and they ripping them off. I hear ripping these people off. So I feel bad. So when I see stuff and I can help, that's what I'm here to do. Hold on, let me get this off the screen for this made me just lose my mind. Let me see if it's still there. Hold on, y'all. Look like it's gone now. But yeah, people out there giving them their heart. If you ain't watched the last video we did, that one dude had done gave several thousands of dollars. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars, bro, went in the hole trying to pay the psychic. It's real. It's real. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we here for today, man, to continue that 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 uh exposed, exposed, put that exposed on some of these psychics. So if you're new to the channel, man, hit the subscribe button, join the fam. Once you do that, just acknowledge the haters. Just they're they gonna be there. Acknowledge them. And what we like to do here is moment of silence for them. That's enough. Now, run the likes up, baby. Make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment. It's your boy. Let's go. You have a question for Psychic Tita? Stand on up. A question that um, it's very important to me about my song. <laughs> I, I've written a song. And now, look at this lady. Nice. Look, look. Look at this lady, right? She does not need to be taken advantage of her. And I want more than anything else this one wish for this my song because I sang it for my dad before just a week before he passed on and he liked it and he said he was going to be listening for it um, and he didn't know he was going to pass the next week and I didn't and the song it's like it, it was meant to be just meant to be written and I I want to know is there any future for it? As, am I ever going to get anywhere with it to have it recorded by anybody where it's going to be played on the radio? Um, not until he learns a certain lesson. He has to, um, he has to own up to the, some of the things he's done. My father? Oh, I, I don't understand what you what you mean. Well, <laughs> I mean, he passed away. Uh, he was a very good man. Well, reincarnation. But uh, now, how does that affect my song, though? Um, I'm I sorry, I can't hear oh, you very well. Um, I was wondering, because uh, I wrote the song and I sang it for him, but is there any hope for my song that I that I... Uh, is anybody going to ever record it nationwide that it's going to be heard yeah, on the radio? He'll be back, you know, he'll, he'll reincarnate. And he all, probably, when did he die? A year ago, November. He I probably don't... hasn't come back yet in oh. another life. What? Maybe you got to like stomp on the ground and, and clap to her and say, hey, check, check, check your hearing aid. I'm asking about my song. S-O-N, my song. When will anybody hear my song? I'm not asking about my dad's reincarnation. Like, lady, what, what are you, what, what, what is she talking about? What about the song? She's wondering about her song. <laughs> she, she wrote a song. And she wants to know if it's going to get recognition. You have to get it, get out there, <laughs> knock on doors. Wait, I am. I am. It's um, all the doors are closed now. She's read for celebrities such as that lady. Kind of made me mad right there. That lady was asking about her song, and you keep talking about her dad. 
She's not talking about that. She says she sang it for a devil. Now she wants the people to hear it. And you keep talking about her dad and reincarnation, lady. Like, what do you, what, what, huh? Saturday. All the doors are closed. Now she's read for celebrities such as the Saturdays and Gwyneth Paltrow, making Essex girl Jane Wallace one of the UK's most celebrated psychics. Well, today Jane claims that she can reveal key personality traits about our three mystery celebrities just by holding objects that belong to them. So if you grab a hold of that one there, and uh, and what do you say about the person? Can I just say something quickly? I haven't yeah. read for Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, have have you? You not? No. oh, you should. I don't know where I should. Yes, yes if you're you there, Gwyneth, come visit. Oh. But yeah, I just oh, wanted to right. say that. So. Yes, that just... came from your press. My press. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. See, never read your own press. No. This is our first mystery celebrity. I feel real strong creativity with her. She's passionate. You know it's a her. Yep, it's, well, it's, it's a, a feminine watch. watch. Well, yes, of ladies course. Watch, right? I feel real strong passion. She's driven. She's artistic. She's creative. I get words and writing, and she's not flamboyant. She's very sophisticated. But I feel there's a very strong sort of flamboyance about her. Okay. And an amazing friend. She's very loyal. And I feel with her very much what you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. Loyal. No walks and all. Right. She, she's, as you see, so, that's actually... So career, is. what sort of career, career is Career-wise, I'm going to say either writing, creative. So she's somebody, either she's got a book or it feels almost feeling of writing. I don't feel actress. I just feel I want to write or... Well, um... You ever heard that saying, if my, my aunt had a... She'd be my uncle? Well, I think this might be the, uh... <laughs> The uncle instead of the aunt. She's very good with psychology. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So she's quite analytical in a way and a, a very, very deep thinker. Anything else that would pinpoint her for her to say, oh, yes, that's a very personal thing? I think home life is happy. Um, she's, I would say, grounded, safe and secure. That's how I see her. There's certain areas that I can't mention. There's certain things that I can't say. Uh -huh. But I feel, for me, it feels really, really great. She's a good person. Let's okay. see. Let's bring this person in. Good at in you come. Who is that person? It's a man. And it is, oh. it's a man. It's a man. Oh, in you come. Oh, insensitive. Well, yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Come, on, come and take a seat. Have a seat, Lionel. So obviously, oh, lovely to see you. So major gender a issue there. No, and, not um, at all. And uh, so what, writing? Uh, no. No, no don't write. Totally wrong. No. no, no, wrong there. Um, what were the other things that you mentioned? I don't know. What did you mean? Uh, family life. Family. Sensitive, well, I've been married 45 gentle. years. Yeah. I've got three children. Yeah. Three grandchildren. Yeah. And when my mother died, she only left a little bit of money. See, he said it. I weren't allowed to say it. That was yeah. what I was li linking with. Sorry. Well, and anyway, the money that she left, I wasn't going to spend it. I bought that, that watch. watch. That's, oh. That's maybe why it's gentle That's and feminine. That's a lovely story. But that was a major miss, I have yeah, to say. Yeah, major miss. Yeah, I'm sorry. Further, further wrong, then. <laughs> He said that in the most nice, nasty. <laughs> he said that in the nice, nastiest way. Oh, I love petty people who can be nice, nasty. That was the most nice, nasty way of saying you got that all wrong, bro. <laughs> the fact that he said that was a huge mess. <laughs> oh, oh, I love this. I love the pettiness. Oh, I got to hear that. That was a major miss. I... <laughs> <laughs> that was. That was. Major miss. Yeah, major miss. Yeah, I'm sorry. Further, further wrong then. Hi, Lorraine. Hello. Hello there. So, okay, I wanted to talk about um, career matters and work with you. Is that the sort of main thing at the moment? No, not at the moment. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So I don't know if you're teaching or something like that, but it seems to be dealing with quite a lot of children, but they're older children as opposed to younger children. But it's not just the children, it's adults as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that it, though? Well, I haven't really thought about it at the moment. Please, your mother in the spirit world? No. Um, is mother-in-law in the spirit world? I've got mum no. here. No. Is there anyone else you used to call mum? Or was known to the family as mum by? Um. It's mum, and uh, she won't give me any more information. She just keeps calling mum and um, <laughs> giving me March birthday passing anniversary with her. No. Someone who always wanted a son. So it's someone that didn't want a son. Uh. Or Horrible. And you decided to do this live or something? <laughs> this is not your calling. Didn't have a son, oh. sorry, but wanted one. So I'm being called to time. I'm sorry, I've run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank uh, you. Bye. bye. There's a million dollar cash prize for anyone who can demonstrate supernatural powers. Let's meet contestant number one. My name is Jesse Bravo, and I'm a stockbroker. First of all, 
Does he just not look like he's here to take your money? Second, he just said he's a stockbroker. Bruh, like two signs right now for me to clinch my wallet, bruh. By day, but by night, I'm a psychic and I speak to dead people. Here are the rules for Jesse's test. 12 envelopes, inside photos of 11 random living people and one very famous dead person. To win, Jesse has to locate that dead person nine out of 12 times. Hi, Jesse. Like a game show. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you very much. The odds of winning by luck are about one in a million. But Jesse, of course, isn't counting on luck. What I tried to ask is, whoever is gone, will you please just show me which envelope they're sort of contained in? You believe that's a dead person? Are you ready? But the spirits didn't answer. Jesse's first pick was this girl, and she's very much alive. Attempt two. Are you ready? This one is a live person. Strike two. He was supposed to find Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. We know he's dead, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I'm considered very good at what I do, and boy, am I bombing. Yep. You believe that this is a dead person? I'm hoping so. After another failure. It's a live person. A live person. Internally, I was crumbling. It's Jesse Bravo's last chance. Well, that was very... Now you, uh, you just counting, and now you randomly just... You're right. Well, that one very strongly, I'm guessing. I'm trying different techniques. Okay. This one is? It's live. I think? Yeah. You're right. It's live. Jesse may have failed, but he says the problem wasn't with him. It was with the test itself. Asking an envelope, an inanimate object, to answer a question, it's a really tough thing to do. Maybe there's other people that can do that. I'm not one of them, obviously. Do you make your living as a psychic? Yes, and I do actually do energy work and healing work, and I channel as well. Channeling spirits? Mm. I sort of, I, I bring energy in and, yeah, from, from the angelic realms. <laughs> yeah, she channels something, all right, like a lot of drugs. <laughs> like a lot of drugs she channeling. It might be a little high right now. Here are the rules for Georgia's test. To win, she has to match the palm print to the correct bio nine out of 12 times. This is not a lot of information to work from, to be honest. But, but we will work with what we have here. 20 minutes of mixing and matching later, Georgia has chosen a palm print for each bio. Okay. Excellent. Can I get you all to stand, please? It's her million dollar moment of truth. I'm going to ask you to look at the bios that are on your sheets, please. If this is your bio, I want you to turn it towards the camera, not yet. If it's not your bio, I want you to crumple it up. Now. Crumpling. Everyone wrong. <laughs> oh. No, you didn't get everyone. Right. You got one right. Whoa. You got one right. But you did not get the million dollars. No. You weren't just a little off. You were very off. <laughs> Another nice, nasty person. <laughs> oh, I love it, bro. Oh, man. It's no way you can feel sorry for these people, man. And a lot of people may look at me and be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Bro. Think about how many people they've taken money from. Think about how many people who have worked hard for their money to come in and to invest in these psychics who they believe are telling them the, the truth and they're not and they're ripping them off. So no, I don't feel bad. I don't. Yeah. How convinced are you that you're gonna win a million dollars? I'm convinced. I, I have great confidence in my abilities. Here are the rules for Paula's test. She'll be given the 12 biographies. Then she'll do a tarot card reading on each subject. To win, she has to match the person to the correct bio nine out of 12 times. Paula gets in the hot seat and starts her first reading. So I, I see that you're a person that's ambitious. You're involved in your work situation. I feel like you could be making more money. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. This is your final answer? Yes. She's just chosen the bio for the 12th and final subject on Banachek's signal. Now. It looks like you've got one right. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, you mm -hmm. do not get the million dollars. Okay. So this doesn't make you think twice as to whether or not you're psychic? No. I still believe I'm psychic. This gold watch here. After doing that, and I'm not sure if that's what she normally does, if she does like tarot card readings, all that. 
But after doing that, you still had this. I admire their confidence. I guess that's one thing you can take away from it. Their confidence level is through the roof. Maybe that's what they should be, you know, trying to do, man. Instill confidence in people. Give people confidence because they have a lot. It's, it's, it's crazy. So, you know, I, I'm going to want to ask him, what is it that means something to me in this room? It's not hidden anywhere. It's, we've not tried to be tricky about it. Just tell me about this girl watch. If he says that, then we've got an interesting story. What would be the one thing he could tell me? And it was, a, it was an object. Was it a toy car, please? Is that what you're, you're going to give me? That's what I want to give The object in the room. I'll give you that much. So the object's here, somewhere in the room. I'm not going to start looking around because if I say, like, it's that, it's that, it's that, you've put the thought in there. I'm not saying it's, yeah. it's in the room. So all you have to do is, if he's definitely here and you're channeling him now, all you would have to do is go, it is, hmm. To you. To you. It's not an else. There's, there's, an ob there's an object that wants to not picking up any object. My mind would say that, my head would pick up that, but I don't think it is. That's my head picking that up. I haven't looked around your room, so I don't know what it is. I really don't. I'm not going to start milking it and say what it could be. I have to have a guess. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't that, it was that chair. That's it. No. No, I'm not picking it up. Do you need to touch the items? No, because I think I'd be looking at some sort of... What I was drawn to when I first came in here, okay, was that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was stuck to that, but no. No, we're, we're pushing it now, we're milking it, and I've got three items wrong up to now. Mm -hmm. The law of averages will say, I'm gonna get it soon. <laughs> and I don't wanna do that, because what happens if it's 10 down the line? What was it? So it's a gold watch. It's a gold watch. Yeah, so when I was younger, I would pull on the back. What I'd it. like you to look at when you go back on the film is where I pointed. And I said it to you. Where did I point? To you. I may have been pointing at you. I may have been pointing at the watch. <laughs> to you. I don't know. <laughs> I may have been pointing at you. I may have been pointing at the watch. Man, if you don't get out of here with that, what is wrong with y'all, man? But I did definitively say. You didn't say the watch? No, I didn't say. No. The watch. I don't want to make it fit. But it'd be weird if you think do you think that I think that I'd pick that up. Oh my gosh, well people just don't care, bro. That take oh. It would may you I read for you? Okay, yeah, yeah. I need you to be open minded about everyone living and deceased. Do you know the names of people deceased and living grandparents, parents? Okay. I see an M or J person. Do you have somebody family that is a J or an M? Yes, you do. Duh. Duh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, what, yeah, Is yeah. it a J or M? M. A J M? Is it a male or female M? I don't know. Female. Is it spelled M-A? Yeah. R? Yeah. Like Mary? Yeah. Is that your mom? As my daughter. Or your, your, oh, it's your daughter. Was your daughter's there? okay, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, I mean, what, I don't know what she's around. living. But is there another Mary or Marie uh, deceased or middle name like this from your husband's side? Okay, I think there may be. But anyway, um, is she starting... Um, a new project or a new after school something or a new, um, I don't know what my daughter's doing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk that very much anymore. Have you that met her? Be, that's <laughs> not good. <laughs> and maybe I yeah. should shift you over to Larry. Yeah. And, yeah. Done, and does she, yeah. and, and I'm seeing, right. yeah. did, is there, is there, does she have a boyfriend? She's only, <laughs> she's only six. She's oh, only oh, six, God. okay. I'm oh my gosh, bro. They just be, and they try to reach at like obvious stuff. If it's a girl, oh, she she has a boyfriend. She has a good percentage of getting that right. In this situation, it didn't happen because the girl was young. She was six years old. But you have so much of an opportunity to get obvious stuff like that right. So you be like, come on, man. We see the game. We ain't crazy. I let you know. Okay, I, I mixed we up were, about, okay. <laughs> I didn't know how old you she was. Know. Okay, so how do you explain you failing miserably here to predict well, the Well, that's part of my fault. Yeah, but, it's it, part of my yeah, fault, but I picked up on Mary. I said it's her yeah, daughter. Yeah. Is that your mom? That's my daughter. Or your, oh, it's your daughter. When I was five years old, I had a boyfriend. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't you? 
Dot, 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 dot. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry. 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 I had one of those episodes, you know, where words just come to mind. And you, you kind of just start blurting stuff out without being able to control it. I forgot what that's called. Dot, dot. She's, you know what I mean? Not only is she a psychic, she thought. Sorry, y'all. My bad. I, I'll get it under control. I apologize. So, well, you didn't say Mary. You said an M or a J. I mean, yeah, but, I, right. I got an M and a J in my it, family. You got an M and a J in your family? Mary? Most people are, are very respectful and, you know, and really uh, nice about it. <laughs> except for Larry. Right, except well, for Larry. You, you didn't, you failed. You know what, Larry? Here's the deal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to read for you. Yeah. Not we'll, we'll do this um, off camera. Yeah. If you allow me to read for you. Sure. And then I'll come back on the show. Okay. And you will be the one to decide if what you feel is is truth or not. Oh, okay. With the reading. Now, I, I you hope have you hit to, it out of the park as well as you, you did here to, today. You need, <laughs> to, you need to be. <laughs> nice, nasty wins again. Oh, well, uh, my father passed away in November. And yes. I want to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. He does a funny thing, says his legs are. What is this dude wearing? Did... Are, are you serious right now? Good. His feet. I want to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. He does a funny thing, says his legs are good. His feet are legs. Uh -huh. You know, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and he does a dance, like a little shuffle dance. It has to be funny to you, I believe. Okay. And, and uh, his love, my love, my love, my heart. No, he said my heart. You're, you're his heart, he said. And uh, makes sense? Uh, yeah, it does. Are we close to him? Oh, very close, very, yeah. very close. Well, what's his leg thing? What's the feet yeah. thing? Uh, you know what? He 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 had cancer and he was losing his ability to walk. Uh, you know, towards the end. But uh, that you know, was the only that thing that lasted for like a, a week. You know, yeah, that scared him. He was very afraid because he thought he would never walk again. And he says, uh, "In heaven, I guess he's fishing." He shows me because there's water right next to where he is. Was he a fisherman? No, no, he was a musician. Well, he's yeah. right by the. Uh -huh. right. He's holding a pole, so I don't know. Uh huh. Ben? Yes. Let's do you know who you are? Have um, you been in the house before? I've, I've said I've said a hello. We turned up and I said a hello. But, yeah. Uh, so you've been and you've you've met these people. I before. have. I have briefly met them. Yes, I have. Thank yeah. Oh, there was some type of split up um, going back quite a while. No. Is the Jimmy or James connected? No. She's saying yes on grandfather's side. No. There's one particular person that I know was trying to get through to me. They said if there's a way of coming through, they will find it. Yeah. Is the pole connected with you? Um, pole. We have a pole, yeah. What does um, my mum want to say about Paul? She, I, 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 I don't. All I know at the moment is that there was some type of connection with Paul. I don't know if there's been a, some some spot of bother or something happened around Paul. But I know is that she was specifically talking of a Paul. No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. But you seem to be trying to. <laughs> so she said, "No, nah, doesn't make any sense, man. Hold on, yo. <laughs> oh man." She said it doesn't make any sense, bro. <laughs> As if I need to prove to you. No, I'm very open-minded. I was hoping. Yeah. No, no, very open-minded. Yeah. I was how, hoping to just a bit more how, definite. Um, how you managed to come in and have a reading? How was it arranged? Yeah. I, I um, applied to have a reading done. To who? To the advert. So, you, so, you, so you've met Devon? Yeah, so you know Devon. Today. You just yeah. told me, Devon, that you haven't been here. No, no, so anyway, no, no, I'm no, going to say sure. thank you with that. Okay. Um, thank you, for thank, thank you. you. Okay, talk to me. You, you seem unhappy. Well, I'm unhappy because you told me a blatant lie. Which and was? You, see, you told me that you had not been in this house. I told you I had been in that house. No, you told me you had not been in this house. Yeah. But, uh, so you've been in, you've, you've met these people. I have, I have briefly met them, yes, I have. Thank yeah. you. But is that, don't you think that's absolutely terrible? That, to me, is terrible. You've got to draw a fine line of be, what is yeah. real and what is sick. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the things what I do is real because I am touching people, right, Any in a nice things? way. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, you know, it is um, John F. Kennedy here. Uh, the part I want to say, like, is um, the accents and English and, um, you know, and this, that, and the other. But everyone learns accents up there just like that. You know, but th this is Kennedy. 
I can't. You have a question for? I can't watch no more of that. Uh, that was the end of it anyway. But uh, this stuff is 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 crazy, man. Again, I keep harping back on the same thing, though, y'all. They're taking people's hard earned money. So remember that when you start feeling sorry for them, man, don't because they're not feeling sorry for the people's money they're taking when they're doing stuff like this to them, bro. Continue to expose them so they can't rip nobody off, bro. These are scammers, man. Remember how we watched the whole episodes on the scammers? These are grouped in with them. They are scammers, man. They are here scamming people out of money, man, and messing with people's emotions, bro. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm on team. Expose them. All right. So y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Leave a like as well and stick around and stay tuned. To the next reaction, I'm out. Peace. Maybe they could have predicted I was going to say that. But then again, I say it all the time. <laughs> it's your boy L. I'm out. Y'all stay solid. Hey.